What's going on everybody? Welcome back to DevSlips. In this video, we're breaking down the best resources for learning how to code and how to use them. So when you're first starting out with coding, you know, and the, by the way, this is going to be super beginner friendly. So if you're someone who, who's been in the industry and knows some things, this video you're going to find like, oh yeah, of course, obviously. This is for those people who have no idea where to start. They don't know what to use and they just need help and guidance along that process. So let's dive in. The first thing you need to understand is whenever you're first starting out, you know, it's going to be hard to find good places to go to to help solve problems, help maybe solve coding challenges and things like that. So I've broken down and put together six things and six places you can go to help you on your journey if you're just starting out. Number one, documentation. Now, if you know nothing about code and you haven't heard anything about what the docs are, documentation is basically your cheat sheet to understanding the syntax. Always check the docs. So if you're ever running into a problem, you can easily check the documentation, have an understanding of, okay, this function does this because of this and things along those lines and the best place we recommend to go to is w3 schools it is perfect they have so many different languages and if you're in a program devslips academy this is the place that we point you to go w3 schools is awesome it allows you to have perfect examples it literally has everything you need with examples and things like that you can also use mdn web docs mdn web docs is another great one to use but we always recommend W3 schools because it's very beginner friendly. They even have a handful of tutorials and exercises and things like that. So it's super easy to use. So that's your first place to go to W3 schools. The next one on our list is Code Wars. Now Code Wars is perfect if you're looking to solve coding challenges. And the, the trick to coding challenges is is you, you do them daily. You don't you know get obsessed with them to where you're spending hours and hours doing them because that, that's not that's not what they're really used for. But look at them more of like a daily challenge and they help you solve things and they're and they're gonna be things that you're gonna solve in real world scenarios. So Code Wars is the best site we recommend for that. There's a bunch of other ones, Leet Code, things like that, but we really, really love Code Wars. Code Wars is super fun. It, it looks like a video game. It's awesome. It's an extremely fun experience. Just remember, don't get obsessed with coding challenges. Do them once a day, you know, and spend the other time learning actual things. If anything, when you're frustrated, be like, huh, I'm gonna take a break from my code, I'm gonna go do a, a coding challenge and I'm gonna come back later. And it's a really fun way to, to get you engaged and get you to keep consistent with coding. Number three is Geeks for Geeks. Now, I personally put this site on here because I feel like it is such a, a safe haven for developers. It, there's so much with literally everything. It talks about, you know, whether it's what's going on in the industry, any languages you need to know, data structures and algorithms, it has a br perfect breakdown of different types of data structures and algorithms, which you'll be seeing more and more. It has a lot of practice sheets, a lot of like like self-taught micro courses and, and, and things along those lines. It's a very great place for a developer to hang out, have a good time, and, and just practice whatever they're learning. Like if you click over here on the web development stack, it, ta it talks exactly about how web development works, the roadmap, Apps, things along those lines you know if you need help with data structures and algorithms they have a data structure and algorithm beginner section and it's like a micro course so they have a lot of these like micro courses that can be very beneficial I wouldn't look to this as a full-time curriculum because if you get stuck you know it, it's it's gonna be hard to reach out and get help and things like that but it does give you some some very good starting points uh, if you're just starting out with coding. Number four is ChatGPT. Now I have a very strict opinion when it comes to ChatGPT and I don't think you should use it to, 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 to solve your code for you because you're not gonna learn that way. The way I suggest that you use ChatGPT and the best way to use it is to use it by explaining things to you. So a prompt you could use could be like, could you explain how this JavaScript function works? I'm having troubles figuring it out and you paste the code in there or, or if you're actually running into a problem, put it down and put, hey, why is this JavaScript function not working? And let it explain it to you. And, and it's really all how you prompt it. Don't just put something in there and be like, hey, fix this. You know what I mean? You, like you really want to be able to learn with whatever you're using. Don't rely on ChatGPT too much for this. You know, first start with the docs. Then if you can't figure it out, then yes, go into ChatGPT, ask it. But the, the big point that I'm trying to hit home here is whenever you are asking it to help you with something, make sure that you're understanding why it's not working the way it's working. Number five is Stack Overflow. Now Stack Overflow is incredibly popular. There's a lot of memes about copying and pasting code from Stack Overflow. And that's pretty much what you want to avoid when using it. You can easily do a quick uh, Stack Overflow search 
you can you know type in certain keywords like I don't know exit vim or something like that or 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 function not working in JavaScript or, and things along those lines. And you're gonna find a lot of real people answer. So that's the cool thing about Stack Overflow. It's legit community, real people in the same shoes as you. And that's always a little calming feeling whenever you look at the comments and you're like, yeah, just figure this out from other people who are probably in the same situation as you. Stack Overflow is a great place to use, but once again, just like ChatGPT, don't use it with, for, for just quick solutions. You need to get out of that habit if you're in that habit. You don't use it for just, oh, I need to fix this. Okay, I'm gonna fix it, boom. No, use it to help understand and make sure whatever you're copying and pasting or whatever code you're using from ChatGPT or Stack Overflow, you actually know how it works and what it does. And last but not least, mentorship. Mentorship is number six. I saved the best for last because finding a mentor is pretty much takes everything that we just talked about and sums it up into one thing. You have someone to go to whenever you're having trouble with your code. It's easy to stay motivated. It stops the frustration from whenever you're you're learning and you have no idea what to do. And it just overall, it takes the stress away from learning how to code when you have someone who's been in your shoes holding your hand through the entire process. Mentorship is the best way to learn how to code fast. And when I say fast, by the way, I don't mean like you're gonna learn in three to six months. I mean, if you wanna learn as quickly as possible and go out and get a job as quickly as possible, which is gonna take about 16 to 24 months, a mentor can really help make that process go by smooth and a lot quicker. And that's a wrap for this video, guys. Those are the six best resources that you can use when you're just starting out learning how to code and you have no idea what to do, where to go to solve problems and things along those lines. I hope you guys love this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We got tons of new content coming out. I don't know if you guys follow us on Instagram, but we've dropping a lot of educational stuff, a lot of fun skits and things like that. We have tons and tons of new content out. We're giving away a lot of free stuff. And with this video alone, all these resources are broken down into a document with the best way to use them and how you can use them. Just click the link down below, get access to that document. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Peace.